Good afternoon, everyone. I bought a PV PVPV <laughs> 8. Ah, uh, I see PV 8. All right. Uh, small mixer for microphone inputs to stereo input. So, eight channels, if you want to say so. Uh, and this one was broken, of course. I had to change the master fader. And um, while I did that, I uh, tried to modify the effects sense over here, because as you can see, the monitor sends a pre-fader and the effect sends a post-fader, like it would be in many, 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 many mixes. And I want uh, this effect send to be pre-fader 2, because uh, if this one is pre-fader and this one is pre-fader, I can use uh, the main outputs of those two channels, and I've got uh, four independent outputs. So I can use the four mic preamps uh, as a separate channel, um, put them on four outputs and use them for, I don't know, a recording machine like the Tascam 788. You might have seen my other videos from that device. So I can use this as a four mic preamp section. Um, and um, I'm going to show you how I managed to um, change this fader to pre, uh, this, this effect send um, to pre fader. You can do it uh, with everyone here if you want to. I decided to just uh, use this modification for channel 4. Alright, so here's the main board. Here's the new fader I was meant to get in. Ignore it, you won't need it. And here's, as you can see, the modification. Um, so this is the effect send, this is a, a monitor send. No, that's wrong. This is a pan, this is a monitor send, uh, this is a monitor send, and this is the effect send. And uh, if you take a look at the schem schematics, I will give you a link to that, um, you will see that there is a little, um, a, a, a little resistor over here called, where is it? The R91. Can you see it over here? It's a 10 kilo ohm resistor, and I just put it out. So I uh, disconnected um, the the input of this pot potentiometer uh, from the uh, post master bus, if you want to say so. Uh, I disconnected it there, and I um, put in a 10 resistor in this tube uh, directly on the middle middle pin of the potentiometer and managed to solder it on the plus side of this capacitor. Okay, so here you've got the pre-level pre uh, output, uh, pre-master uh, level output and uh, use a 10 kilo ohm and put it directly to the middle to the middle pin here and that's everything. Right now this uh, potentiometer is pre-level, as a pre-level fader. Like I said, you can do it with every channel, so you can see here, over here, you've got the resistor 85, this little one, which goes directly to the middle pin if you put it out uh, and solder another one, uh, another 10 resistor over to the plus side of this um, capacitor, you can modific modificate this uh, pot to work as a pre-fader pot also. Okay, and the same with the other channels. Um, it's a bit more difficult for the stereo channels. Um, I thought, how about um, using a, 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 a little switch to change the output of the stereo um, of the stereo channels either to the um, to the main output or to the control output. This um, mixing console has control outputs too, but I'm not sure if I really want to do that because uh, I don't have any need for that kind of modification. And it would be a bit, a bit tricky also. So, yeah, after all, it's a, a very interesting um, little mixing console. Um, it's got uh, six outputs, eight inputs, and those six outputs are all uh, symmetrical, and it's got uh, phantom power, which is interesting also. So, um, yeah, I, it's always good to have a little mixer in your toolbox. And this one is very, uh, very useful, I, I think. I hope this helps you. You can try it out if you get the same uh, module. This module is without the USB connection. There are PV8s uh, and 10th and 12th and I don't know, uh, which uh, uh, also has uh, the um, 
possibility to use uh, it via USB directly, but this one is pure analog. See you.